morning guys I've just run into my filming room to grab my camera sorry the windows open if you can hear um, traffic and a bit of noise but I thought I would vlog today I do actually if you saw my last video you will have seen part one of like my autumn annual haul of like home decor it was kind of more I hope well, it was just home sense and TK Maxx bits but I do have quite a few things from other brands. So I did say that I would do a part two to that video, which is going to be today. I thought a little bit more vlog style just because I don't like doing two hauls back to back. I feel like a vlog breaks out quite nicely. So we will get into that eventually. Just finishing off my makeup, I thought I'd just go grab the camera whilst I do so. I'm just going to do like a light bit of makeup today because I'm not really, I don't have any plans. I'm not particularly planning on going anywhere or doing much other than um having a bit of an admin day i've got some editing to do for a couple of brand videos my everyday lip i'm gonna go in with the number seven lip pencil this is the one that i absolutely rave about guys i wear this all the time with just a bit of lip balm They always say for the most natural lip, you should go just slightly, like one shade slightly darker than your natural lip color. And I feel like for me, and my skin tone, this is the perfect nude. It's got a slight pinkier undertone to it, uh, which I do think my lips are quite pigmented naturally. Quite pinky, but anyway, a bit of Carmex on top. Um, a bit of powder, and then we're we'll probably good to go. So how are we all? Are we all excited for autumn? It is uh, drizzly today which is quite nice, especially doing a video whereby I'm sharing with you some autumn things, even though we are still officially in summer, but you know what it's like with this home decor, you've got to get ahead of the game to be able to get the good stuff. And I feel like this year, the best by far, best brands that have nailed the autumn decor, especially like if you're a neutral fan, Matalan. So I have already shown some Matalan bits in previous vlogs. The Hourglass Veil Soft Focus Setting Spray on. More than anything because it feels lovely. And that's that. So I'm going to go ahead downstairs, um, have some breakfast, make a coffee. I'll take you guys with me. I don't think I've got much to update you on in terms of the house. I feel like slowly but surely, very slowly, <laughs> I've been, and I'll do a bit more today actually, I've been sorting through the storage room, um, trying to get on top of it, trying to get organised, and then what I want to do, either alongside that or after I've done that, I feel like it's going to take me a while though, so maybe alongside it, I want to get on with sorting out the pantry. I feel like organising the pantry is going to be one of those videos that a lot of you, can you hear that wind? Um, a lot of you are going to be excited for that. I've just got the doors open. Even when it's blustery and potentially looks like it's going to rain today. It's definitely forecast it. Um, yeah, I just love having the doors open. We have just bought though, because these skylights, they're not Velux. So the handles are not like the typical Velux handles. So we've ordered like a pole from Amazon that I'm hoping, fingers crossed, we'll be able to kind of open those windows and push it open and then hook it on to close it back. Because I have found that by having these doors open, any flies or wasps or anything that get into the house, they seem to struggle to make their way back out the house and they all seem to gather on these windows here, especially this end one. So obviously they end up dying and I end up having to like hoover up some flies like literally every day that I've got the doors open, it happens. There's a window in here as well, but we never tend to get flies in here, thankfully, because this is where the dog food is. And um, I mean, it's a food pantry, but yeah, I can't wait to organize that room. That's just one of those tasks that I feel like is quite a big job. And also one that I really am looking forward to. I know some people might call me crazy, but I love to organize and sort through things. But I like to dedicate proper time to it rather than just doing a little bit and a half attempted effort I like to have like a day where I clear out the entire space whatever it be wardrobe anything clean it and then reorganize it I really like my brain just must really like 
methodical processes that literally like follow step by step. I don't know, have I shown you this? I think I've shown you this room where we're at with it in terms of we popped in the piano. I need to give that a good clean. And then these, um, this wall to wall bookcase ready to be cleaned and styled. And we're ready to measure up the furniture in here. And what I have been doing is just popping some bits within these cupboards that I think might be good things to have on the shelves. So for instance, look, these that I got from Next quite a while ago now, my little wooden domino set somewhere along these shelves. I'm gonna mix and match some like wooden games, maybe some games up there and then some over there so that they're all kind of spread out. The non nice looking ones, AKA, if it's in here, yeah. AKA the Christmas Monopoly. That can stay in there. Got some photo frames that I've been collecting. So yeah, these are all sort of things that I think would look good styled up on these shelves, but if they don't have a space for on these shelves, they might go somewhere else around the house. I need to buy some post-it notes to be able to just go around the entire, like not just this floor, the entire house, whereby settlement cracks have happened, paint's chipped, where we want repainting and all of that kind of stuff to just label everything up so that when the paint and decorators come back in, they'll be able to see everything. But we've even got jobs for like the joiner to do like hanging mirrors and stuff. Got my little uh, box, pile of boxes that I've been sorting through and organizing. Essentially just a quick run through. I've got like home decor in here, stationery in here, spring in here. All of these bits are autumn. Got quite a lot of autumn decor. All of these are Christmas. I've got more Christmas to go though. And then all these spare boxes for anything else. I think I'll probably have quite a few for um, like home decor and stationery bits but eventually I'll empty them back up because then they'll be able to actually be styled up and be put around the house. Anyway, I'm just still in like my PJ t-shirt. I'm gonna take out my hair, I plaited it last night, so hopefully it's got a slightly nice wave to it. I'm gonna get dressed for the day. I've got my outfit laid out ready. I get on with the day. I wore this quarter zip recently and a few of you asked where it's from. It's from My Protein. So is this sports bra. I really like the length of this one and these leggings are also My Protein. Full My Protein outfit today. Uh, but yeah, I just love the colour of it. It's like a creamy kind of colour. It does come quite long but I do like to just kind of like tuck it under like that. And it's got the side pockets on these leggings. How nice are the colour of these leggings by the way? Really like them. You may be able to see a sneak peek of the autumn bits I have to share with you there. I might actually take them downstairs to share them with you. Um, but before I do, I just wanted to firstly very kindly thank today's video sponsor, my vitamins. I have taken my vitamins this morning as I do every single morning. I tend to do it first thing with like breakfast and a coffee and a big glass of water. I feel like by having a big glass of water in the morning with my vitamins just helps give me that hip hydration straight away. So I thought I'd run through the vitamins that I specifically take at the moment that I have been loving and also their results and also the fact that I have a whopping discount code with them. I feel like my vitamins, I was going on to order some vitamins anyway and I have in the past ordered vitamins from them before, paid for myself and then they reached out to me and I was like, perfect. I was literally just about to put in an order of some new ones that I wanted to try and also some good old favourites. But yeah, I've got an amazing discount code with them, which is Freya. Pop that in at the checkout and you get 55% off RRP. Speaking of hair this morning, hair health for me is like a huge thing. I've always prided myself on the fact that I have blonde highlighted hair yet still in quite good condition and naturally this long. Um, this is actually quite short for me. The last couple of times I've had a huge chunk ch like chopped off the end to keep it again in that nice healthy condition. And as and when I don't need heat on my hair, that extra heat, like last night I just plaited it and I've just left it nice and natural this morning because I'm not doing anything. I'm just 
at home for the next day or two no real plans so no need for extra heat so with that I've also been taking the hair skin and nails gummies this is actually my second pot that I've been on now you get 60 gummies in this one that's 30 servings so I take two of these every single morning got added zinc in to support your hair skin and nails also a couple of other things I've been trying multivitamins this is just like a small pack I've actually got a big one downstairs that I Use. These are just multivitamin gummies if you just want to keep it nice and simple. By the way, the gummies, they're like eating a little sweet for breakfast. They're delicious. Another area that I've wanted to improve is my gut health. And they also do these gut gummies. This is the first time that I've tried them, but I have been using them for a few weeks now. And yeah, I have noticed a difference. I feel like for me, you know how they say your gut is your second brain? And when I get a bit anxious, a bit nervous, I feel like my stomach feels it. So yeah, I feel like this has been really been beneficial for me in particular. It's got one billion live cultures per serving. So 60 gummies in here. You only have one of those every day. So I have to switch my battery out a second. It cut me off then. But um, yeah, so I've been loving them. And then lastly, a couple of other ones that I've introduced within my regular routine are these two i've actually had this one before so i tell a lie this isn't the first time i've had this but it's ashwagandha which essentially is i think it's extracted from like a root of a flower or something so there's 90 capsules in here you get 90 servings so one of these every single day contains 500 milligrams of the ashwagandha extract so it's essentially both of these i've got some magnesium as well both of these are meant to contribute towards a reduced anxiety levels so although magnesium it kind of baffles me how this works because magnesium contributes to the reduction of tiredness and fatigue and yet at the same time it's known for its benefits for like anti-anxiety anti-stress and that kind of thing as well hence why you get like magnesium bath salts that i pop in the bath so yeah, I have started taking magnesium and ashwagandha every single day as well to be able to balance me. We all need a little more balance in our lives, don't we? And so that in particular the ashwagandha i know i like because i have had that before but the magnesium is definitely something new to my daily routine of taking vitamins and supplements so yeah i will continue to let you know how i get on with that but in particular of all of these things that i've been loving in particular i would have to say the hair skin and nail gummies have made a big difference to me like i said this is my second pot already i've been loving them and would definitely recommend them so i am going to leave them linked below i also just again wanted to highlight the fact that i have that 55 percent off rrp which you can take advantage of with the code freya and yeah thanks to my vitamins for very kindly working with me on today's video i feel like we can head on back downstairs now get on with some cleaning organizing sorting through bits and also share with you all of these awesome goodies for lunch and whilst I was there I got a little bit carried away and got some snacks as well I got these um just do a little Aldi food shop shall we always like to have just a plain sweet one to snack on but I also saw these flavored ones from Joe and Seth's which I do like their popcorn it's very sweet though I feel like it's not like a typical popcorn so you just gotta imagine it differently um pan of chocolate flavored and tiramisu i feel like i've had the tiramisu one before anyway light bites for lunch just some carrot batons some little baby cucumbers avocados flat peaches little salami and mozzarella mix these are fab 
if you can get your hands on them <laughs> that's the only thing they usually they do the puddings which i don't particularly like at all i just don't like them but the mousse is really nice and tom's been loving these so i thought i'd stock up on a few more of those they do like a salted caramel flavor and a vanilla flavor as well but i think chocolate's the best and then again more light bites for lunch options some little cocktail sausages i thought these looked good little mini chicken kievs and also the tomato and chili pinwheels they're all like kind of duping the m s stuff because they even come in the same little pots <laughs> um and then to go with those bits just some hummus and then i saw this i was like oh i don't know if it'll be any good but just for like when i'm eating solo and i want like a if i'm in a rush for whatever reason for lunch i need to be super quick ready in a minute just pop it in the microwave it's a little pesto style pasta then i also got a new scent for 1001 carpet fresh i'm using currently they which they also had a new one which is blue packaging i can't remember the name of it but this one is the feel energized scent refreshing citrus and green notes i feel like i'm gonna really enjoy that one it's got pictures of mint and lemon on it and then some little flowers so yeah i've got that for when our other one runs out so that's my little aldi haul i'm just gonna pop these bits away now and then i'll bring the autumn bits down and share with you those because I feel like that's what you're all here for. <laughs> I feel like people are fully into the autumn swing of things this year, especially with it being quite um, quite a wet summer, really. I mean, I'm not complaining. A drizzly day like today is my perfect kind of weather, especially if I'm just at home, not really doing um, out and about plans. It's quite nice to just get cozy. So yeah, I'm not complaining. I quite like it, uh, but it does make me feel like autumn there's no like all of a sudden you, you you're not gonna think oh it feels like autumn today because it's felt like that pretty much all summer Do you know what? Before we get into this whole part, oh, lucky the Barney's getting cozy. I'm gonna light the candle. Not just any candle, I'm gonna go for like an autumn candle. Let me go grab one. We're gonna go for this one. Autumn Air. This was a home sense find. Cashmere rich patchouli with smoked sandalwood, golden amber, and vanilla, musk, and spiced caramel. Remember this that I got at Maker's Market? I switched out the matches for black ones because I feel like I prefer the look. <laughs> but yeah, they're just super handy to have there actually. Oh, the smell even of just lighting a match just sends me into ultimate cozy mindset straight away. If ever I need to get cozy or need to relax, lighting a candle. Okay, let's take a pew. And let's share with you some autumn goodies. Where shall I start though? That's the problem. I think I'm gonna go straight in with Matalan. So I feel like where have I got things from? Matalan, The Range, Tesco's. These are all stuff that I've not shown because I know in previous vlogs I've shown bits of Matalan autumn things and 
um, the range as well. These are all things that I've seen since then. And then Barney's laughing in it, aren't you? I'm afraid there's nothing really in here for you. Let's go with the first, in fact, before I do this, I feel like the candle needs to be away from being knocked over. Probably one of the most exciting finds because I just think this is the perfect autumn wreath for a neutral autumn decor lover. That's what I'm gonna say. Um, so it's 26 pounds from Matalan. They obviously have lots of like orange toned uh, wreaths and garlands and everything, but they brought out this one with kind of like grayish colored leaves, maple leaves, little pine cones, these little white, well, they're actually more, they're cream, so they're really nice. I feel like if they're white, they even look cheaper. They're lovely cream with twigs intertwined, little squashes and pumpkins little berries as well and i just think that's gorgeous and it's definitely not like halloween -y either so perfect for popping out like in september can't wait to get that on my front door i've kind of been saving not putting a wreath on the front door until autumn because i could have put like a summery one on um as soon as it first got painted but i don't know i feel like it'll be really nice to have the first wreath on the brand new freshly painted front door to be an autumn one. Seems as though it's my favorite season. So anyway, I've got that 26 pounds kind of steep, but I did think, well, do you know what? It is one of those things that I can just get out year and year after year after year. I also got from Matalan two of these woven placemats, which are in the shape of pumpkins. They kind of look like an apple though. I did think that, but I thought rather than get an entire table placemat setting i thought i could get a couple of like feature ones these will probably go nicely with the uh placemats that i've got anyway which are like a seagrass from the white company so they're five pounds each so yeah these would be more like on the island if we're hosting we've got nibbles out or like server platters out we want to pop them on placemats or for like down the center of the table for like a little hurricane and candle to sit on or a hot plate or something but yeah five pounds each for those i wasn't sure about this at first but i did end up picking it up and it's the matching um little candle hurricane to the wreath so i thought if i had the wreath on the front door and then as you come in through the front door we're gonna have like a console table by the front door and i thought that could sit on it so when you first come in the house you can get a nice smell whatever candle i pop in there maybe like an autumn one from the white company although i say the autumn scent they've brought out a new one called amber which i really want to try so maybe i could get if they do like a little botanical candle in amber I could get one of those for in there but anyway it's the exact same kind of like leaves and pumpkins and berries on there so it matches it perfectly and that one was I paid £9, but that's because I had a discount. I had a percentage off. So if you're a Matalan member, by the way, you get offers quite often. So I got 30%. Did I get 30? 20%. I got 20% off the entire order. Um, so it usually is £12, that one. Now, I've not gone overboard with the toadstool trend. That was huge in America last year. It's definitely getting a lot bigger here in the UK this year. I've noticed them everywhere. Now... I don't know if I love them, but this little plain wooden one, I thought actually, I do quite like the plain and simple design of this one. So this one was only £5.50, just cute. I feel like just on the shelves or something somewhere, I could pop this one out. Um, and yeah, just like, again, a little nod to autumn without it being too like garish garishly Halloween or bold and bright colours. I did also get the uh, very popular cushion from Matalan, which is this, and it's like a beaded neutral pumpkin design bolster cushion, like a small mini one that I'm thinking I could just pop on the sofa. So it'll go with my cream boucle ones that I've got from Dusk on there already. And then I also picked 
up a towel for in my bathroom that like the main bathroom has a bath towel i do already have a hand towel for in the downstairs low from last year which you'll see in like the autumn decorate with me when i eventually get around to actually decorating for autumn but for now it's still a little bit too early to actually decorate but um yeah i did pick up this bath sheet at 14 pounds i think this is the biggest one but they had a couple of other sizes as well slightly cheaper and it's just plain um, cream with rust colored pumpkins and the reverse. I also picked up one of these wooden turner spatula type things. This was in the kitchen section at £2.50. They've got loads of this kind of dark wood and I've got a little utensils pot on my kitchen shelf that I thought I could just pop this in. They had these in the clear glass and this like dark amber brown glass as well at £4.50 so I picked this one up. I'm thinking again on the console or something somewhere behind me to just have a little trinket dish like this all beside my bed for like jewellery to take off at night and just pop it in there cotton buds in a bathroom i mean the possibilities are endless and i thought i would just go for the colored one over the clear one just to add that warmth i've got this little pumpkin mug again four pound fifty this one was and i've got a few mugs from matalan now they seem to have like the best selection i did get one other mug and this is the last item that i got from matalan and it's this gorgeous so cute i'm really like sport for choice when it comes to my autumn mugs this year at five pound this cream and neutral beige stone kind of colored um hearty mug i feel like you can get a lot of drink in this one and on the inside it just says hello autumn so seen as are also doing quite a lot of like autumn things at the moment little candles little they, they seem to do a lot of smaller homeware items i got from there last year which is in one of my storage boxes a white pumpkin shaped hand soap dispenser and like toothbrush holder matching they've brought that out this year in like a dark rust orange with a brass gold kind of lid really nice but i do quite like the white one as well still um, but anyway the only item i did pick up though on this occasion is this little throw and again this is the second i think the only other item that i've got with toadstools on and i thought because of the color of it this green is like the same color as our island we've got little things in and around this room that are that color as well but i could pop this throw on either barney's bed um or what i like to do is in our um sofa the footstool is like an ottoman so we've got all cozy throws and blankets in there i might pop that in there and then when we actually sit on the sofa and chill out for the evening i always get out a throw for barney to come and join us without getting his muddy paws on the sofa so yeah this could be a throw that can just go in that ottoman so recently did a next come shop with me and haul with some of their autumn bits and i didn't show this in that video so i thought i would show it to you now and it's this little um autumn salt and pepper pot the tray actually you could repurpose for anything um but as a set obviously it looks lovely and i went to tesco's so i picked up two candles but then that was it so the first one that i got is the uh, classic kind of botanical candle which you can just pop on a candle plate mandarin clove and amber and it's got little like the bits within it are like little cinnamon sticks and oranges i think that one i think was about 15 pounds when you think of the botanical candles that size from the white company they are 40 plus pounds um and then i did also get in that same scent of autumn one other candle and i love the look of this one it's like in a ceramic jar with a stone base and it just says autumn on the front yeah i really like that and thought i would pick that one up with the whole neutral theme it goes i mean i'm looking at this table now full of autumn goodness in neutral colors and it makes me very happy. I did get one other candle, and this one was from B&M. This one was four pounds, and again, neutral aesthetic. It's not too like whoa, that is autumn decor. It's just toned down and nice. I mean, you could even burn it any time of the year. But it's in a really super soft sage green with like a scalloped edged top, and this botanical leaf print design. It smells okay. It's not amazing. It doesn't blow me away, but. It looks cute 
so I got it. The last few bits that I got are from the range, and firstly, <laughs> how gorgeous are these stems? So I was, I was honestly, I couldn't tell you how long it took me to make this decision. I was so torn between this color that they've got, this lovely cream, or this like burnt orange rust color in the exact same shape. It was even like darker than that. It was a really dark, deep brown. I think they had burgundy as well. I might be making that up. But anyway, I settled on the cream because I do have some faux foliage already in like orange tones. So I thought to mix with them or even just to have standalone in a vase just by themselves, this like arrangement of cream maple leaves. Again, neutral aesthetic, neutral lovers, you're gonna love this. $3.99 each and I got three of them. And then what else did I get? I also got some autumn cupcake cases, good for baking. We'll have to have a look on Pinterest and decide what I'm gonna be baking in my autumn vlogs. Because I have some little loaf cases now and cupcake cases from here as well as HomeSense. Um, but these ones come with the cute little um, like cocktail stick decorations to go in the top. So they were £1.49, but then at £1.29, I also got this silicon uh, pumpkin shaped molds, which you could pop little um, chocolates in, brownies, like mini brownies. They call it a pumpkin chocolate mold. Quite often I use silicon cases like this for the dog to make dog treats. If I um, get some like pumpkin puree, which you can get from Sainsbury's by the way, or online um, and mix it with banana and peanut butter. He really likes that. So I quite often will pop them in molds like this, pop them in the freezer as a little treat for him. I don't know why I got this. Maybe because it was so affordable, but I feel like I've already got a pumpkin mug this shape from Matalan from last year. I think, do you know what? I, I kind of justified my job of doing this and sharing with you some bargains as to why I got this, because it is cheaper than the Matalan one. So the Matalan ones are five pounds. These ones were only 2 99 So if you want a nice speckled, white, neutral colored pumpkin mug, then maybe check out the range because yeah, 2 99 this one was. On my laptop, where is it? Oh, it's over there. I've got some little stickers on. And when I saw these, I thought, oh, I could switch them out for autumn. I just found these at a pound, these little four stickers. They've got loads of different like craft bits. They're all the designs that they do in this little pack. But honestly, they had so many different designs and even good for scrapbooking. They had little washi tapes, those for a pound. And then last but not least, ending on something that is perfect for the inner child in me. $3.99, an autumn adult coloring book. Yes, I love stuff like this, honestly. I've got quite a few, um, like I like doing word searches and Sudokus and little puzzles and stuff like that. Like if I'm going away, I'm sure regular viewers will know because we've talked about it before, but I'm not buying a magazine. More often than not, I'm buying a puzzler. <laughs> I feel like I can read magazines on Readly or something, but good pen to paper type activity. Do you know what I think it is? I think it's because it's something that really takes my mind off any kind of like stresses of the day, any upcoming things that I'm getting worried about, any work things that I just want to take my mind off it. To be able to do something like this and like focus on a task. That's why I like doing jigsaws and stuff, especially at Christmas. I'm like, let's get a jigsaw. I just really enjoy doing it. Anyway, this is a Mindful Autumn coloring book. 20 gorgeous designs to color, tear off and share. And that is everything that I got in my autumn haul part two. So I think I'm gonna close off today's video because I feel like it's already pretty lengthy and I'm sure most of you were here just for the whole section anyway. But I hope you have enjoyed it more vlog style today anyway. I hope you all have a lovely rest of your day. Thank you once again to My Vitamins for very kindly sponsoring today's video. Just a reminder to get 55% off the RRP on their website. You can use the discount code Freya at checkout and shop via the link in my description box, which I'll leave right at the top view. It's an offer not to be missed. 
I might even stock up on some more myself and have a good rummage through their website because I've been loving my little ritual, morning ritual of taking my vitamins and supplements. So yeah, thanks to them. Thanks to you guys for watching. Hope you all have an amazing rest of your day and I hope you're all just as excited for autumn as I am. And I hope to see you all very, very soon in my next video. Bye guys.